Hello, this is Olivier. In this video, you will learn how to add an attachment field in your background elements. Background elements are very useful in the profile that will establish a sort of CV or resume. For example, employees can use these background blocks to list their work experiences, their certifications or their language skills. We will first define what background elements are. Then we'll see the types of attachments that we can use in background elements. We'll speak about the attributes for the attachment field. And then we will go into the tool and we'll add an attachment field from Manage Business Configuration. We will also add an attachment field from the Succession Data Model. Background elements in the Succession Data Model are elements where a one-to-many relationship exists between the field and the data it can store. This is different for the standard element that has a one-to-one -one relationship between the data and the field. There are two kinds of background elements. Number one, the data field-based background elements, for example, for education, for the work experience. Number two, rating field-based background elements. And in that example, we can store overall ratings from the performance management module. The elements defined as background elements can be displayed on people profile in the background and trend information blocks. Regarding the attachment field that we can have in background elements, we need to keep in mind that each background element can have one additional field of attachment type. This field allows you to classify updated documents for easy search. So we can speak of attachments, certifications, resume, cover letter, and so on and so forth. There are different types of attachment that we can use and we can classify them for easy search. Regarding the attributes for the attachment field, we can first speak about the max file size KB. This is the maximum size of the file that you can upload. Then the other attributes is file formats. It determines what file extension is allowed. For example, Microsoft Office documents, HTML, text, or PDF. We are now in the application, so let's have a look at what we have at the moment in the profile. From the main menu, I'm going to click on My Employee File. And then I will navigate to the Talent Profile. I see some blocks, Employee Information, Talent Information, Work Experience Within Company, Previous Employments, so I have formal education. Let's try to edit formal education. I have date fields for the start date and the end date. I have the school, which is a text field. And then I have pick lists for the major and the degree. Let's see if we can add an attachment field in this block. I'm going to click cancel. I don't want to save my modifications and I will navigate to manage business configuration. I am now in manage business configuration. I have a few options. I'm going to select employee profile and then I'm going to choose background elements. The background element that we were looking at was the one for education. So I'm going to click here. I can see the label, formal education, that is visible by the end users, and I can see my different fields, start date, end date, major, degree, and school. To add the attachment field, I'm going to add the ID. As an example, I'm going to say attachment. I'm going to enable this field, so I'm going to select yes in this column, and then I'm going to click on details. So my field is enabled, and I do not want to hide it. This is the field name and I'm going to select attachment ID because I want this field to be an attachment. So this is the good selection here. Something very important, you do not see the red asterisk and yet this is absolutely necessary if you don't want your block to keep on loading in the profile. You need to make a selection for the document type ID. So this is a very important information here. So in there, I'm going to choose attachments. Maybe I could have chosen something different like certifications, cover letter, HRIS uh, attachment. So there are many options. The one that I will select here is simply attachments. 
I'm gonna set I'm not gonna choose any max file size KB because I will use the default value when I save so I don't worry too much about that at this stage I'm simply gonna add the label attachment the default label as well and click done I will scroll down and save so notice that I have a confirmation pop-up window and it speaks about the maximum file size KB uh, and we will be using the default value. Same for the maximum length, we will be using the default value. That sounds good. I'm going to click yes. So we will test our changes. Let's go back to the profile and back to the talent profile. I will scroll down a little bit and let's go back to the formal education. If I edit this block now, Add a new line, I can select my start date, my end date, I can select the major, the degree, the school, and notice now that I see this attachment field. So I can simply click here as an end user to upload a new one. So I'm going to pick up a file let's say degree number one, and I can absolutely load it here. I have the file size and I can see the date. I'm going to click done and save. So the attachment is absolutely available in this block now. So let's see what happens from the succession data model perspective. I will download my succession data model for that company that I am using. I will scroll down. I will select the export radio button, click submit, and I will save the file somewhere on my computer. I'm going to open this file with my XML editor and I will look for education. So this is my background element for education. I have my different fields start date, end date, major, degree, school, and attachment. If I want to add an attachment field in another block, I can simply copy this data field, ID attachment, and I will place it in another block where I want to use it. For example, if I want to use it for the certificates, Let's see if I have a background elements for certifications and licenses. There we are. So we have one here. I have the certification license data field, the description, the institution, the start date, the effective date, the end date. And maybe I want to add the certificate here. So I'm going to add this field. And maybe the ID will be a little bit different. Maybe I'm going to call that certificate. I'm not going to change the field name. Uh, maybe I'm going to change the document types. And I'm going to choose certifications, which was available in the list that we saw before. Notice the maximum file size KB is also visible there. I'm going to call that certification or certificate I will save as another version and import it back in provisioning I'm going to select import browse for my file open and submit you can now read that the template has been uploaded and saved so let's verify in the application I'm going to refresh my page for the profile and I will go back to my talent profile. I will scroll down. I have my formal experience, certification licenses. There we are. I can click add and notice that the certification field is available to me and I can upload documents as well in that field. The attachment field is not necessary at the end. You can place it somewhere else in this, in this block. Maybe you can um, change the order of the data field from the succession data model XML or from manage business configuration. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it.